aquí tenemos a Edwin. Here they charged a two per person, two for the parking. We're gonna go up here to the mirror door, which is within the area. And then from there, we're going to deviate, which is not technically allowed. We're gonna duck a fence and circle around the whole volcano. We know the route, it's gonna be beautiful. It should take two and a half hours, maybe less. Brought some water. Time to water. And we've already done a quarter of it before. We didn't bring anything extra, just in case, but it should be safe. <laughs> Wish us luck. Welcome to El Boquerón. This is a huge crater above the capital city, San Salvador, and we're gonna try to circumnavigate. Also, you can go down to the bottom, that weird dimple shape. That's apparently a really difficult hike. <laughs> Aquí tenemos Edwin. Un amigo from El Salvador. Edwin was enjoying mangoes at the viewpoint when we started talking. He's living in the U.S. now, but grew up in El Salvador. We asked if he wanted to join us on our crazy crater hike, and he agreed. Eso no sé qué, a dónde será ahí. La playa. No, la playa sí estamos. Oh, wow. Yo veo yeah, huh? Esa es la playa, sí. Claro, sí. 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 Sí, porque ya se miran la wake. ¿no? We were excited to have some company like the first time we had gone with our friends Richie and Steve. We knew we had to try to go around. We were just lucky to find someone to come with us who had never done it, but he had always wanted to. Hola chico, no es bravo. ¿Ah? Hola chico. Uy, tranquilo. Mira qué bueno. ¿Cómo se llama? Morro. Morro, ¿qué pasó, morro? Wow. Mucho gusto. En una hora, Gracias. Lourdes. Over there, Ilopango and Chaparastic. Chaparastique. Chaparastique, yeah. And over there, ¿qué ves ahí? ¿Cuál es aquel o este? Aquel que no digo que es. Es Isalco. Isalco, ese. Eso es. Ese es Isalco. Ah, sí. Isalco. ¿Verdad? Porque el Isalco está más así, más alto. El faro del Pacífico. Cerro Verde y Santa Ana. The trail has gotten thick. Okay, ten cuidado. Yeah, this hike is turning out to be a bit of a bushwhacking. <laughs> but it's something incredible, that's for sure. Always views of the crater is crazy. I don't know if we'll just go to a crazy cliff and turn back, but... Hopefully it's a, a loop. Yeah. But if we have to bushwhack, well, we'll figure it out. Oh, that part, that part sunk in. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you okay? <laughs> Crowded 
Looks like so we're 25%. So 30 minutes is quite good, huh? Yeah, I would estimate. I would estimate about 30 minutes. Hay que ducharnos luego. Yeah, this trail has definitely gotten rough. Oh no! But not as rough as the very first part. Esto es? No creo. Yo tampoco. Well, it has to be. Must be up here. When we were walking with Edwin, he told us that he's 64. He fell a few times, but got up without help. Hay que escalar. Hay que escalar, mira. I'll chime in here to say this was my favorite part of the hike. We found this vulture roost. Great view with a cliff right next to us to stare off. And tons of birds all around us. It was then that we found the sketchiest part of the trail and Edwin's fate was in the hands of destiny. Todavía peligroso. <laughs> ¿Yo qué, muy? Yep. Oh, mucho mejor aquí. <laughs> what a hike. Getting close now. We got a barbed wire fence here. Well, it looks like we finally got around the middle. We did it. We're almost there. Four and a half miles. It took us double the time that we thought it would to circumnavigate the crater, but we made it. Thanks for joining us on our crazy Albuquerque hike.